why these men behind ISTO or men behind Chandrayaan 3 are important because we know the world over, multiple nations have attempted a moon mission. Not many of them have been successful. India has managed Chandrayaan 1, Chandrayaan 2 and now successfully so far, Chandrayaan 3 has gone as per plan. But what are the real challenges? A quick word coming in, uh, joining us is Aryan Mishra, the founder of Astroscape. Thank you, Aryan, for speaking to us. Uh, tell us a, 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 a little about the challenges that Chandrayaan may just face. About close to six hours or barely five hours, 50 minutes that's left for the historic descent of Chandrayaan onto the moon. But we know that the South Pole is, is quite tricky. And this is what every space station across the globe have said. The South Pole is rugged. It's going to be difficult. Take us through. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, the first question which comes up is that why the lunar South Pole? Why we are targeting the lunar South Pole when six manned missions plus other more than 50 missions have been to the moon. The reason South Pole is that there are patches of land which has water and ice which was confirmed by Chandrayaan 1 a decade back. Mm -hmm. In this region of the axis and the tilt of the moon, there are areas and craters which are in complete dark. And there are craters which we humans have never seen, which means there is no sunlight which is reach, reaching these craters. Now, this is what we are interested in. This is what we are interested to know about the shadowy places that we want to study in. These are basically called planetary fossils. They contain water and hydrogen and hydroxin, uh, hydroxin ions, which forms the water. Now, Chandrayaan-3 is trying to study those craters. It's trying to study those regions, which are also known as coal traps. Now, Chandrayaan and Chandrayaan-3, the orbiter and Pragyan rover and the Vikram uh, uh, lander, both of them will only operate for one lunar day, which is equal to 14 Earth days. One of the biggest challenges is that is the relay of information, that telemetry data coming back to the Earth. Like, because one, uh, because it, information will be passed through the orbiter, then back to the Earth. The tele telemetry data of uh, from uh, the Moon to the back to the Earth is somewhere, which is one of the technical things. Again, we know the landing procedure, like with the maneuvers, which is going to make the uh, the uh, lander land on the surface of the moon is one of the major challenges that I think will be excellent because we have learned from the failures of Chandrayaan to the 15 minutes of terrors that that uh, that we described is basically yeah. I don't think that would have any problem because we have learned from the past of the failures. Absolutely. I mean, there are there are a few challenges and it seems like ISRO has already widened the scope uh, of error. And this time, they, and we believe that the Chandrayaan-3, the spacecraft itself, is a lot more rugged and they've managed to ensure all these errors of the past have been dealt with. But thank you very much, Aryan, for joining us.